We're gonna use every single mythic in today's video in the new Fortnite season wilds in order to get a win in zero build mode. My final thoughts of this season are currently reserved, but at the moment I've been finding it really sweaty and I haven't been able to clutch out a dub. I've gotten three or four second places and at the moment my ability is just not cutting it. So we're gonna play really methodical this game. We're not gonna land at the new locations and we're gonna play how we know. This is a really bad explanation. I've been recording for about four hours, but what I meant by this is we're gonna play play in a way that's going to guarantee us a win we're going to have good rotations we're not going to have silly pushes we're not going to be going out in the open every decision i make is going to be very intentional we got ourselves 20 shield and we got the new smg so the new smg is really good it's not new it's been unvaulted the combat smg and it does a lot of damage so we've got to make sure that we use it in the proper way and the proper circumstance where we're not going to be getting fried and stuff mm, i need more inventory slots you know what we're going to be getting the mythic drum gun later so let's run the combat smg because i'm going to show you how good this smg is every single time i run into a person so this smg was really overpowered in the season that it came out so much to a point that you didn't need to carry a shotgun you could just use this smg and you'd win gunfights so let's run it up with this and then we'll get the mythic drum gun but first thing we need to get is the mythic flapjack rifle now the flapjack rifle is an L. LMG, so it's not an assault rifle so it has a really big magazine but it's really good i really like it this person had a legendary havoc assault rifle but we're using new items so we we'll use the flapjack rifle so it works really really well you have to pull it down a bit once they're past kind of the 50 meter range the hip fire is all right it's not the fastest rate of fire gun so i feel like if you're carrying it carrying like a havoc pump is not going to be a good pairing you probably want to carry it with like a drum shotgun or a maven or a combat smg like i am right now i did land on dead side of zone as well here because i really want to get this win in dude i haven't struggled at the start of a fortnite season like this for a long time so if you're struggling as well and you're finding it hard or extra sweaty don't throw it. i think i got a little bit too used to having movement items in the game movement items are so good in fortnite and at the moment we have absolutely none do reckless reload primal companion does seem like a decent one but considering i'm not in the jungle biome there's no dinosaurs to ride out here so it's kind of pointless selecting it let's see what this npc is that spawned in here as well because we still have to wait a while for the boss to spawn in before we can get the mythic flapjack rifle oh i can hire this npc hey he's doing laser beams emote cool you'll be in my team Come on, let's go. So if you are playing zero build this season, you got to carry porter bunkers and uh, shield bubbles. I'm not sure if shield bubbles are still in the game. I haven't seen any of them yet. And Fortnite didn't talk about it in their blog post, so I couldn't include it in my video because I didn't know. So uh, I'm not sure what heals are gone. I think splashes might be gone. I haven't found any splashes. Still got another 14 seconds before the boss spawns in. Let's get a bounty. So the bounty boards are back, but now they're called job boards. And the reason they're called job boards is they want it to be a bit more friendly to players who maybe don't get all the kills in the world or struggle a little bit with the game. So now you can visit locations, search chests, or eliminate enemy players. I'm always going to prefer eliminate enemy players, but it's cool to note that they made it like a bit more friendly like a, a nice another way for people to earn gold and the boss didn't spawn in here so the boss does have three different spawn locations and they can be random every single match i'm gonna head to the one that's closest which is over there that i've marked right now is someone shooting at us you can see the recoil is really high for that this is probably not the range that you want to be using this gun at and I gotta find a vehicle because we gotta rotate to that vault here. So there is six of them, and I will be having a separate video that comes out that shows all the locations of those six vaults. The boomerang feels too OP. Like it resets so quickly. Like one one second it takes to reset. That's too fast, dude. Right, I need to find a vehicle. Um Maybe this will work. Oh nice! That's the first time I've ever ridden that properly. I guess maybe because like I put it on like a very specific angle rather than just hitting it like I normally do. So someone's got the key card there, someone's got the key card there because you can see they're red and no one's taken the one that I'm heading to so that's really good. I'm still currently on dead side of zone too. I gotta, I gotta remember to stay dead side of zone. I gotta remember my positioning because it's so easy for someone to just roll up on me. Nice. And here we are. The boss should be around here somewhere. Oh yeah, here's the boss. So let's take out the bodyguards first because they deal more damage I found last season. So I want to get rid of wildcard suits before I take on the boss. See, look at this. That's too, God, that's OP. It feels OP. It feels really broken. So the boss does still drop the Mythic Assault Rifle. Now you might be wondering, why would I use the Mythic Assault Rifle when we have another new Mythic in the game? 
And the reason for that is the Mythic Havoc Assault Rifle works better as an SMG and AR, so you can spam at close range. So if you're carrying a Havoc shotgun, you can use this AR really well. But this new LMG here, the Flapjack Rifle, doesn't work as good as a close range gun. So most people probably won't want to use it like that. Gotta try and find a, a vehicle. We wanna rotate in a second probably. There's a car here. And make sure we're reloaded. Select a perk. Let's do light fingers for now. So we're gonna have that fast reload. Because there's no movement in zero build, like I'd like to push more fights and try and get some more kills, but that's just not the way to play the game. And I will be making a video like explaining like how you want to be trying to play the game. Here's one of the new items. This is the Cybertron Cannon. This can be pretty OP in build mode, I found. You can get shot through builds while using it. It is a mythic item. And it works like this, if you haven't seen. Like, you charge it up, and then you shoot a shot. I think it can destroy a total of seven builds, depending on the type of build, or like how you hit it. But the cooldown does take a long time too. Last perk of the day. Oh, mythic pistol, marksman rifle, reduced recoil. This is an LMG, not a marksman rifle. Wasp weaponry. Let's try this one out. So I get a jar of wasps that can throw up people. So every single time I get a kill, it will spawn some more wasps. Not sure how long they spawn for. Looks like they could be a pain, especially if you're in an area where there's like no water or no mud. Like how is someone meant to get away from you? I mean, this is going to add a lot of competitive integrity back to zero build mode, but for solo zero build mode, and just the way the map is designed, it just doesn't feel like it works without movement super well. Like I think we're spoiled by how good movement was. It's like the fact that someone can just like beam you and there's no way to combat that or fight back unless you have cover. So you got to be super hyper aware of your situations and the time to kill being low, like someone can just heavy snipe you or someone can just spray you. And you can die like instantly. I don't know. It's a weird choice. I thought the movement worked well with Fortnite's time to kill. There's a couple of heals above me here. I mean, we are going to get every mythic item, but let's go on for some kills real quick. We'll use the flapjack rifle here to deal some damage. We'll see what the hip fire's like. Okay, that was alright. Not fantastic. I should have thrown the wasps at them because the wasps spawned then. Let's go back to my vehicle real quick and to the island. Dude, the island is so far away. No one ever gets this island too. Like I always find when people go to that island, it's like super late. Alright, to the island. Let's go get that mythic drum gun. I want to try something out. So the tap fire for this is good and it does like high damage per shot but the spray from like I'd say 50 meters is probably the furthest you want to be away before spraying someone. I want to get out of that. Woo. That was a close one wasn't it? Lucky for me I know how good the combat SMG can be. Wait was that the... That's just legendary, right? Yeah, the Mythic's not in the game anymore, I don't think. <laughs> I like that. That felt cheeky, dude. In those LMG shots when they had the heavy sniper. Is there any more heals in here? Medkit, nice. I like that. Good pickup. What tick rate is this? Still one. So once this is just past the free quarter line, I'll start taking this med kit. It takes 45 seconds for the capture point to take. So every quarter is 45 divided by four, which is like 10.125, I think. Yeah, right as I pop that med kit, the area popped. So we've got the mythic now, drum. We also get ourselves an extra slope juice. I'm gonna drink this one real quick so we can carry the two. And so I'm constantly healing while in zone. We'll take our, our porter bunker here. Let's go back into zone here. I'm gonna go on top of this building. It's good cover, good position of advantage. Damn, this person's got a good aim. I'm not really feeling the mythic here. 
I gotta rotate the zone. Let's hit that gong for good luck. Just like we used to. Because I was trying to use a sniper on me. Whereas if I got hit by another heavy sniper user then. Alright, I'm out of heals. I might have to go into the vault here to look for more. This is not good. And zone's another big rotate as well. Alright, we've got some more bunkers here. That's good. And we've got some minis too. Four people left. Let's quickly take the grind rails into zone. I think that's the only method that's going to be worth it. Dude, so many people using the heavy sniper. Heavy sniper is, going to be, is about to be so OP for zero builds. I'm almost in zone. Most people will probably be above me or across from me. Oh my gosh. All right, two slope juices, nice. Oh, that person got hit by my wasps. The way for me to get up here, there is. Ooh, 10 kills. Okay, one person left. Could be on top of the hill, I hope not. <gasps> I see them. Quickly drink this up. And <laughs> just like that, my first win of the season. He's like every single mythic and the new boomerang. Oh man, a lot of tutorial videos to come as well as uh, other content in regards to the season. Definitely only started to really enjoy that based on the way that I was playing. You really have to adjust your play style and just really forcing myself to adjust my play style made that more enjoyable, but cool. Cool, thanks for watching the video guys, really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe down below. And if you liked the video, make sure to like the video. Take care everyone, catch you on the flip side.